there are tools that we can use in order to make our journeys a lot easier as we're challenged with all these different vibrational things going on right now. All right, so let's dig into it. Divine neutrality, everybody take a breath. Mm, drop into the heart. Open to receive. All righty. They gave me a book, by the way. <laughs> this is, well, yeah, there's a lot here. All right, so let's flow with it. Uh, in 2011, as I said earlier, I received this method for releasing ourselves from duality. That's the key point, to release yourself from dualistic existence. It's a core tool for divine perfection and ascension, the proper qualification and use of life force energy, which is getting very blatant right now. And it's not about deciding, judging who is using proper use of life force and who isn't. Divine neutrality takes you right away from all of that. Divine neutrality is freedom. And freedom codes, which has been flowing since 2019 as preparation for what we're experiencing right now, this is where you really have to lock into that freedom to make your own sovereign heart-based choices based on core truths and highest desires. Sometimes you don't need to choose at all. It frees us from duality. You know, we've been describing Trinity consciousness as, is it in the highest interest? Is it not in the highest interest? Or is it just none of my business? I don't need to engage at all. That's a beautiful place to be with a lot of what's uh, being thrown at us right now. But since it is our goal to amplify the ascension frequencies, to become the Christ and amplify the new earth realms on behalf of all, we must use the Christ frequency properly, right? Proper use of life force. So positive aligned use of life force is divine perfection. So we increase the source light and zero point energies, which automatically override and overwrite distortions. This frees us from entanglement and duality, and you're going to feel it. When you really get into this and apply it to your own self first, you're going to feel your consciousness and your perspective and your energy fields and everything change. All right. We can expand through divine neutrality. And this phase is all about expansion, which is why there's so much um, stepping up with control and duality consciousness, because it's all about expansion. Divine neutrality is a gate to that experience. The body is designed to ascend. Remember that the consciousness animating it, you, directs the flow of pure source light through it. So the body is not even animated without your I am presence, without the true you animating the body vehicle. So we want to animate the body vehicle with proper use of life force. If we are choosing to ascend into new realities, different realms, different levels of consciousness, specifically consciousness, not another planet, not another place, Right? We're talking about expansion of consciousness in order to transform these realms. The body will become more crystalline, which all of us are experiencing because you're on your ascension practices, and that it emanates light and higher frequencies automatically during this era of photonic bombardment. Those energies coming through are seeking pure vessels and crystalline structures to emanate more of that divine light frequency. So in order to become stronger conduits of that light, which not only changes your personal life, changes your whole life stream, changes your soul group. You know, we're kind of done with the family monad. We'll get into that later, but it's going to transform the realities around you. And that's, and then when we unify, we, we transform collective realities. Keeping in heart, that we lose Christ power, crystalline power, unity consciousness power when we judge because the frequency gets distorted and it's not as effective. We're not seeing through source presence when we get into judgment. 
Rather, we are being swayed by the human animal aspect and the divine human. You know, human, dem- human animal is different from divine human. So divine human is a completely different vibration because you're treating and transforming your body vehicle to operate in a different way. The Christed state, the I am presence, crystalline consciousness, the Christ frequency, they're all the same. Unity consciousness is all the same thing. Is the inclusive state of intense divine love that does not judge at all. Really becoming that can be challenging during these times um, because you're challenged with it consistently if you're interacting with the other realms that are around us right now. But we can attune our crystalline structures and our heart to this stage through the practice of divine neutrality. A few benefits of the divine neutrality state of consciousness, and it is a, it, it begins with a state of consciousness and that it actually affects your physical and your fields in a palpable, direct way. So what divine neutrality does is it assists us with alchemy. There's a lot of talk about alchemy, but shifting from one form to the other, shifting from one state of consciousness to another is alchemy, right? Divine alchemy. We become a stronger director of pure source energy when we become a clear conduit. So divine neutrality allows us to become more effective by standing in that God presence that is eternal love. When consciously directed, this source light holds the frequency of perfection, creation, expansion, and the love that dissolves, transmutes distortion, which is a large part of our service in this now, right? All right. So divine neutrality is this ultimate shield. It's the ultimate shielding technique. And I love that they presented it that way. It's the ultimate shielding technique because your heart is so open and so on and not getting entangled because nothing gets in, uh, nothing gets into your fields without a dualistic reaction. So the moment you go into fear or judgment or a, a negative polarization, you automatically are getting entangled with the external or polarization. So when you get into um, divine neutrality, all of that is easily transmuted because heart coherence and neutrality are flowing in your field. So nothing sticks. And that's a, that's a pure creation dynamic. In duality, you had to choose. So if you continue to have that running in your fields, it's still going to be that distortion. We're getting into Trinity consciousness, that divine neutrality neutrality allows you to no longer embody and create distortion. Distortion through uh, choice, through negative polarization, polarization at all. I hope that's clear that that's the way that we used to create things. And that's the program that continues to try to enforce that because it doesn't want you to go into divine neutrality where everything is considering the whole, right? So we're going to denormalize judgment during this process, show the way, the truth, and the life. That is the expansion, right? So rather than embodying conflict of any kind, And there's certainly enough external conflict happening right now. There's no need to embody any more of it. But we're going to transmute all of that in this passage through this higher frequency that overrides and overwrites naturally. And you'll feel it in your day-to-day decisions as well as in your light work, as well as in your way showing. Let's just remember that The miraculous happens out of time constructs and out of duality, polarization 
in this field of divine neutrality. So if you're seeking to be a conduit for the miraculous, you're going to have to get polarity out of the way altogether and not judge what's going on. And that's the, the thing, that miraculous field is that zero point consciousness. So divine neutrality applied to our personal journey, as well as the collective, allows us to become, uh, to create those fields. The crystalline stargate of the heart allows this pure source consciousness to come through, through that depolarization. I hope that's clear. Because the term neutrality can trigger some people, let me just visit what divine neutrality is not. So divine neutrality is not about walking away, avoiding or disassociating from the external. It's much like um, surrender is not about giving up. It's about making better choices based on higher light intelligence from a zero point source heart coherent state of beingness. So it doesn't mean that you're not engaging with the external. That is not what it's about. It gives you a higher frequency from which to make better decisions. So neutrality is not about seeking external things to fix. You must be sovereign in your own heart and your own journey first before you go into trying to fix realms and dabble with fixing people, et cetera. You know, a lot of that is fading away because that is, you know, part of the thing that keeps a lot of light workers in polarization is the judgment. This is good, this is bad. So how do we overwhelm what's going on right now? Exactly. That I know I know what you're feeling. I know what you're thinking. It does not reinforce negative and uncomplimentary agendas. Your consciousness is not swayed any longer or distorted by external choices, subconscious fears of control or revelation of negative agendas. You're not swayed by those programs and let's call them out for what they are. Agendas, you're not swayed by those any longer, but you're also not rejecting them as bad, right? There's a the subtle difference between a negative agenda and reinforcing it through your own consciousness by judging it or, oh, God forbid, repeating um, all those things as if they're going to happen. It's just reinforcing negative things, right? So you're not judging it. And when we get into this cosmic perspective, perhaps you'll see that. You're not against anything. That vibration is going to collapse, right? Being against something as a way to change it. That's old. That's old light consciousness. Rather, we're participating in the highest interests of all concerned and freedom itself going into unity consciousness. What is in the best interests of the collective right now in this moment and not judging what's going on in the external or the internal for that matter, because it is easier to engage with activism rather than fighting for a cause. Rather we go into creating solutions and take pulling back and taking a look. How is this actually benefiting? What's going on? What is our, you know, our goal? as a collective and as, as an ascending collective, and what are we gonna do about it? And divine neutrality allows you to go into situations without being polarized, and then you get easily sucked into judging things, my way is the highway, you know, that kind of thing. You know, my way is the best, is it? You know, we have to really pull back and divine neutrality allows that. So when another, oh, when facing challenging moments, which a lot of us are right now, you know, family, friends, etc., it makes it easier to stand in your own light, not from an egoic or an emotional or a mental point of view. 
not from the ego. I stand in my light because my light is the only thing. No, that's not what it's about. It allows you to speak up when needed rather than flee or hide or conform out of fear, right? That whole vibration of conform is riding through the field. It is what it is, but here's what we're going to do about it, or here's how we're going to be or continue to pursue our ascension through these vibrations. So divine neutrality allows you to stand more firmly in your own light, having your own wisdom, your own heart intelligence that is flexible, pliable, understands what's going on, sees the higher trajectory, right? It supports positive choices and creations around health, abundance, presence in the collective. When you're holding that vibration, you have a stronger impact. It allows you to engage with the cosmic perspective, that quantum consideration of the whole, which sees all paths to ascension, especially when you lose faith in the collective, which is kind of rampant in some of the light worker communities right now, losing faith and then attacking. You know, it's like, oh, honey, pull back, see what's really going on right now, what this whole situation is about. And not, uh, again, it's not about disengaging. Let me just talk about, you know, fear dynamics, flight, fight, freeze. A lot of people avoided the flight, but they kind of retracted, right? They went into freeze. I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to step away completely because that divine neutrality is not locked into what is the highest thing for my own journey or for what's going on around me right now. So a lot of people, you know, they either contract or they freeze and then there's no expansion, right? This whole thing is about expansion. So when it comes to transmuting fear dynamics, changing them from one thing into something beneficial, I want to make sure that that field of divine neutrality is flowing through the fields. It's easier to transmute things into crystalline light when love and presence are the primary frequency pattern in your fields and of course through your heart and it it feels different this feels like a big open stargate all the time uh, and locking into and allowing higher levels i am presence christed levels to come forth you got you got to let go right let go of the wheel let go of all of the judgment, even with the self. It's much easier to flow gratitude, which is a very high vibration that neutralizes polarity. It, you, it uses this. So uh, gratitude through the heart stargate, it uses that frequency when you're holding that in your field out to all of your experiences and all of your creations, and it takes practice. So let's get into what d divine neutrality is and how we can use it. Divine neutrality allows us to evolve. So it is ascension. It is an ascension dynamic. Care, but don't carry. How many of you have heard me say that over the years, right? That's the base of it. Care, but don't carry. When you start getting into carrying what's happening in the external or carrying your own reaction to it or carrying fears, your journey is going to be challenging, right? It's going to be more difficult. We're not here to make it more difficult. It's already challenging enough, right? So we're making choices based on the heart rather than triggers, making choices on what others are doing, making choices on uh, opinions, other people's actions, what's happening in the world, blah, blah, you know, over and over again. We're ascending to being a trinitized conduit of the crystalline frequency, allowing it to move through a clear, unpolarized conduit, which is our true state. Keep that in heart. Your true state is not about 
judgment. That's just what happened down in 3D, 4D, right? We're going up, <laughs> going up to hold the pattern of the new earth now, right? Freedom. It's all about freedom right now. Freedom from judgment, which causes duality consciousness, which causes your body to behave in a different way, which causes entanglement with agendas. It's pretty easy to sway people. We're seeing this. It's pretty easy to sway people when they're scared or when they're fearful or when they're convinced, when they're not in their heart, when they're convinced something is real that isn't, right? So divine neutrality allows us, you know, and it may be few and far between right now that actually hold that Christed frequency. There's actually a lot more of us holding that frequency, no matter what's going on, on social media, in your live stream, in your neighborhood, in your country, in your state. <laughs> you know, I just got back from Mount Shasta, California. It's like, okay, here we glow, right? When you feel that freedom of divine neutrality, this is true power, true Christ power. And it's not power over, it's power from within. It's pure source consciousness coming through, neutral. Neutral until you direct it. Neutral until you claim that power, that Christed frequency, and then engage in divine perfection, proper use of life force. It might be stepping out of the way of that altogether. It depends completely on the situation you're in. But when you feel that, oh my gosh, it's so freeing. It, it, we become that highest vibration. And over and over again, reminding people, higher vibration, literally shaking the lower realities right now. And everything that's happening through the sun, through galactic center, through the grand, great central suns, through source itself, sending that frequency through to shake the lower realities out of duality consciousness and then raise every willing heart, every willing particle of Christ consciousness into that state, right? The crystalline amplification, the ascension, that's ascension, right? It's just the frequency shaking this apart so that it can rise up and that's quantum effect, quantum physics already showed you, higher vibration absorbs the lower. This is what's, <laughs> this is our, our trajectory. Notice how divine neutrality completely supports that. You're carrying the higher frequency that's gonna change things. And yes, it's going to destroy, shake apart, collapse the old way of beingness. That's what we're here for. Star seeds is what we're here for. Divine neutrality allows for discernment of truths. What is best for all concerned? Constantly remind yourself of that. What is in the highest interest of all concerned right now? When you really learn this, when you really take that into your heart and embody that frequency, You'll be able to apply unity consciousness properly. I love that, that proper use of life force rather than us versus them scenarios, which is a little bit of a pitfall, if you want to call it that, with you know, some of the communities. Um, they get very riled up, right? Everyone getting a little riled up during this. And it's fine to get riled up during this passage. But remember, Remember, from your neutral heart, you can make wiser decisions and not judge other people, which automatically throws you into density, throws you into a lower vibration, and then ugh, you're stuck, right? You took a step down rather than taking a step up. So this divine neutrality frequency, it amplifies revelation and best use of life force energy for Everyone, you're holding that pattern, not just for your oversoul group, but for the whole collective, all of these realms, right? Co coll collectively creating, amplifying that vibration so that everybody has an easier time of it. Protecting divine neutrality, protecting freedom of choice. 
body sovereignty, the integrity of the soul's journey is on deck right now, right? Creating harmony, balance, equanimity in yourself and the collective. It's all for the collective good, right? It's all for a collective higher outcome. And especially when we get challenged uh, about freedoms right now, know that divine neutrality is going to provide you with a vibration, a strong vibration of freedom, so that then that gets amplified on the planet. Divine neutrality is about consistently making choices based on freedom, heart coherence, expansion, right use of life force. It's like a muscle. You can train your heart to be an optimal Christ condition during this phase, especially during this phase. It's such a beautiful opportunity we've been given right now to accept others' journeys and accept others' soul paths, others' ascension process, and release the distortion with ease. You could say, thank you, but no thank you. Thank you for presenting your opinion. Not applicable to my journey, right? And just let it go. It's so beautiful. You carry nothing in your field. Fears from the ego. Emotions. Mind. Nothing. That those lower levels, the lower level constructs, ego, emotions, mind, nothing that the lower level constructs can latch on to. They can't latch on to anything and create in the way that they used to so that they evolve, so that they ascend. I've talked about how those constructs are evolving through our ascension process. We are changing the way humans uh, behave and, and operate in these realms. So the, the lower levels are no longer in charge of your ascension as we go through this up-leveling, up-leveling, up-leveling divine neutrality. There's nothing that they can latch onto anymore. And you can parent them, always parent the mind, the ego, and the emotions through the process because we're honoring that everything's changing. You have respect for yourself. Therefore, you can have respect for others' journeys as well. So when you get neutral, you're not entangled with uncomplimentary agendas, whether that's personal or collective, right? You don't get entangled with them and start enforcing them because that dynamic is trying to stimulate that because it needs that. So when we disconnect completely, nope, you don't get my consciousness. Nope, you don't get my heart, right? Without judgment. Thank you. No, thank you. All right. I see what you're doing, but not engaging. It's beautiful. And then you can make reality choices based on discernment rather than judgment. So with conscious practice, we're free from duality Woo or making negative situations worse through judgment and separation or reinforcing those vibrations. Beautiful. All right. I would like... Yeah. Let's go into an experience or a practice of this. If you've been with Level Up or the Crystalline Convergence, we practice this a lot collectively. Uh, but just personally, let's, let's pause for a moment on Christ Light Transmutation applying everything that I just said, everything that you just received on divine neutrality and how that's your way out of struggle with what's going on right now. It allows you to be hmm, in that state of wisdom. Feel it. Divine wisdom, not judging, not better, holier than thou. Stop neutrality. Neutrality is that state of divine love consciousness. All right. The Christ crystalline unity frequency, all the same thing, is organic living light. Feel into that because we are going, we are uh, dissolving the inorganic realities and going for the organic, amplifying the organic frequency. 
So that organic living light, that is the Christ frequency, is information that creates undistorted realities. So just feel into that. The Christ light, the Christ light vibration that comes through when it's coherent, when you're a coherent vessel for that, a coherent crystal shining, little solar light, your little crystalline solar diamond light body shining, that frequency, that allows for creating, it's a light intelligence that allows for creating coherent, complementary realities that are unified, right? Unity consciousness. The light has a different quality now. There is a lot of this information available. So if you think of it as just information, light is information, plasma information, right? Especially with the plasma right now. A lot of you are seeing that or feeling it flowing through your fields, seeing it come onto the planet, seeing it come out of the sun, right? It is what it is. Feel into the intention, the vibration of that as information more information available expansion oh all of a sudden there's more information available there's more than choosing sides there's more than going into fear there's more there's so much more available for many years now but now it's really getting amplified it's really stepping up plasma and the sun grow more filled with that photonic light that's coming through galactic center right now and through the grand central sun direct from pure source consciousness coming through all those vehicles divine cosmic mother heavenly father the paradise sons and daughters of god the trinity consciousness is here and it's intensifying so becoming a divinely neutral condu conductor of the light is the return of the christ we are becoming that. Divine neutrality improves the perception of organic frequencies and truth, higher truths, right? The truth of divine love light and what that really is and how we are truly that shining through all these realms. So feel into this. Take a moment. Close your eyes, drop into the crystalline stargate of the heart, open, and open the ascension column, open, open, everyone, open, open, oh, really blast it open. Feel it. Zero agenda. Feel the zero point consciousness just for a moment. That source spark within the center of the center of the center that allows for so much expansion. That's why in our mastery, the more we focus on that zero point, zero polarization, zero agenda, the more our fields expand, feel it in this moment. That pure I am state. This is the only way it works, beloveds. Zero expectations on it doing something to you or the other party. Just feel into the stillness just for a moment. Return to a neutral heart and allow it to amplify your fields, body, vehicle, command and decree whatever is necessary to your journey in this now moment to retrain the flows back into balance, complete forgiveness, complete dissolvement of all density. Let it go. Be in the now, clear presence, eternally renewed, replenished, starting from that zero point, clean, clear conduit. Because the light has not been polarized at all. Zero agenda. Knowing, feeling that ascension is the ultimate outcome. That is your faith. Neutrality. Heal. 
This is the zero point from which source can shine. This is sovereignty over your personal journey. So let's practice from this state, from this point forward, if you need to name it and claim it, practice qualifying all of the thoughts, words, deeds, actions, realities, all of your emanations, all of the light that you are responsible for. And let's encode that with that divine neutrality now, pure Christ light, pure crystalline diamond, pure source essence, whatever your consciousness has a name for that. Let it emanate, call it forth. I welcome forth that pure emanation, the almighty I am, the pure presence I am. Let it transform your realities through this open presence. Qualify, I call forth the qualification of all the light emanating from my pure heart, fields, body, thoughts, words, actions from this point forward to be qualified to the highest level I can handle in this now moment. Call it forth. Let it emanate right from the heart. Beautiful. 